So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a simple password protection in MIT App Inventor. On my design screen, you can see right here that I have a text box for the input of the password, a button to submit it, and just a label that says incorrect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that label, uh, make that label not being visible. So I want to hide that label. So now that we can't see it, my screen two is pretty simple in the setup. I have a label that says correct that I'm going to keep up and then a button that returns me back to the home screen when I'm done just for ease of use. Now again, text box button and label on the main screen. I'm just going to come to my design screen. The first thing I'm going to simply do is say uh, when my screen one is initialized, I just want to set that label one. Uh, I'm going to choose the visibility on this. I'm going to come to my logic and I'm going to grab a false up. So when uh, screen one is initialized, we're just going to make sure that label is not displayed. I'm going to come to the button. When my button one is clicked, I'm going to grab an if uh, else statement and an equal sign under my logic here. And what I'm gonna set up is, if my password matches what's the text in the text box, just gonna grab this and I'll drop down and text box one's text. So if my password, which I'll come under text here and grab, and I'll just do something simple like, hey, then I'm going to open a screen name and the screen name I want to open is just my screen name two. Again, I'll hit that on the drop down menu. If not, I'm going to take that label one and I can actually just duplicate it from here. Duplicate. I'm going to take that label one and I'm going to make it visible, meaning that'll display my incorrect statement. So if we're taking a look, that's all the code is. It should initialize that variable to be or visible, to label to be false. If my password, which I said is hey, equals what's in the text box, open a screen name when that button is clicked. If it doesn't, display that incorrect uh, visual as well there. So that's my uh, simple app right there to do. Now let's move over here and go back to our screen two. Just to have this as more user-friendly, I'm just going to say is when that button on this screen is clicked, I'm going to come here and uh, open up screen name, screen name one. So when I can just go back and uh, test this app out again. So there's my design screen. I'm going to go back to screen one. There's my logic to open the screen two. I'm just going to come up to connect now. I'm going to do my Chromebook emulation. Again, I'm working off of a touch Chrome, so it makes it a lot more user friendly. So I'm just going to type in hello first. I'm going to hit submit. That's an incorrect password. I'm going to type in that hey. And we can see it's correct and it takes me to screen two. 